Hello everybody, welcome back to part three, four, five, six hundred, I don't even know, of the Brago Glow Up. Because we've got another Brago diecast that I'm sure is going to be pretty freaking awesome. And it's just been in the trend of where they've been going the past few years. Their F1 diecasts have gotten so great. Uh, and yeah, I'm, I'm praising the car and I haven't even shown it yet. Today is the 2023 Oscar Piastri McLaren MCL 60 from the British Grand Prix. Okay, okay, okay. What happened here? Honestly, I have no idea. Uh, this is probably the worst mail shipment packaging I've ever seen for an F1 diecast. And I've seen some pretty bad ones, okay? I've seen some pretty terrible ones. Remember the 164 scale cars? I mean, the fact that that one was broken literally ruined them for me. Like, I couldn't even make videos about them. I was so disinterested after they came broken. This car doesn't appear to be damaged at all. But yeah, the box got squished. It was in a really thin shipping box and just like a really shitty black plastic bag. So not rating the shipment very highly, but the car still will be good, I think. Oh, I hope. Now, before I jump into this die cast, I got a question for y'all. And that question, I think, it, I, think I saw it uh, from Aldis on Twitter. Uh, and that question is, who had the best rookie season between Max Verstappen in 2015, Charles Leclerc from 2018, and this driver right here, Oscar Piastri, 2023? I think it's a tight contest, honestly. Uh, I think it's between Max Verstappen and Oscar Piastri. Uh, not that Charles Leclerc's season was bad or anything. I just think that those two were more impressive. What do you guys think? Uh, in, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. I will share my answer as this video goes on. Now it's time to actually get into the diecast itself. Uh, remember what we looked at previously. It was the Barago Alpine. This is the first ever Alpine car Barago has made, and it looks pretty damn good. And I think this car is very similar. The Alpine's got a lot of glossy paint, but it's also got a matte finish in some areas, and it really, really looks good, and it all mixes together pretty well. So I'm kind of expecting that. It kind of looks like that's what's going on here. Uh, and this is, once again, this is from the British Grand Prix, so this is the special livery from that race. Also, just before I forget, the boxes on these Barago cars look way better too. A lot better than they used to when I first started. Let's see. Okay, no damage to the car. It got pretty close there. The box uh, dents were pretty darn close. So let's get this off the base and talk about the young... Oscar Piastri. And here we are, up close with the McLaren MCL60? Hey, hey, wait a minute. That is not the McLaren that we're looking at in this video. I tricked you. I tricked you, motherfuckers. Ha ha ha. Yeah, okay, so this is the McLaren from last year. And the reason I'm showing this off is because it can't be an F1 diecast review if I didn't have a story to tell. Uh, if there's no story, there's no review. Now, the story this time around is that this right here is the first Barago McLaren that they ever made in this recent era in this era of me doing these videos i think they probably made mclaren in like 2013 maybe uh, but that was way before i started watching f1 and making these videos so this was the first one and this car sucked this is my least favorite brago from 2022 that's the year yeah uh i don't i i know looking on its own you might not think it looks too bad uh, but take a look at the overspray right there. Just so meshy. Just so unclean lines there. It's just, It just doesn't look very good. And I think the printing on it is just not very high quality. The orange paint is kind of like muddied up because it's painted over black. It makes it not as sharp as I think it looks on the real uh, McLaren car. And I was just not a fan of this Brago car. Uh, and so the question of this video is going to be is our current mclaren car is our brand new 2023 mclaren 
better than this one. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Way fucking better. Way fucking better. <laughs> I'm actually a little bit shocked at how awful this McLaren car looks now that we've got this one right here. This Oscar Piastri looks fan fucking -tastic. Uh It's hard to even contain it a little bit. I don't get super excited all the time when I do these videos. Not since they started selling F1 diecast at Target where I blew my shit off. Yeah, I mean, this car looks fantastic. It looks a little bit more dusty than it is, or whatever the Chinese factory dust is going on on there. Yeah, so the painting on this car is just perfect. Everything that was wrong with last year's McLaren with the orange paint is totally fixed here. Uh, the orange or the papaya, I'm pretty sure papaya, papaya is a type of, papaya is an orange shade, all right? Y'all can tell me that papaya is not orange. It It is, all right? It is. Uh, it just pops so, so nice on this car. Uh, it's bright, and it just, it just slaps you in the face. It just pulls up to you and kind of just shoots you, like with a gun, like it murders you, like it literally kills you. That's really, really good. The chrome logo does not look that great. I will say I just noticed that. It's a bit fuzzy in the printing. So that's a little disappointing, but like, uh, it it's not actually, I don't care. <laughs> uh, the silver, of course, that's unique to this car from the British Grand Prix. Was this car raced at another race? Because I know McLaren's, uh, like, like the Monaco livery also raced in Spain. Like, was this car only from the British Grand Prix or did they race it in like the next race after? I honestly don't remember. To be honest with you, I'm trying to forget this season. It was so boring. But yeah, I think this livery looks fantastic. I think this is probably the best McLaren that they had this year. McLaren had a lot of different liveries. This was definitely the best one, uh, even though I just admitted that I don't remember any of the other ones. So yeah, honestly, this video's been totally derailed. This car looks fantastic. I don't even have a whole lot to say about it. I mean, I'll get up close, as always, let you guys see... Uh, this car, I bought it off of eBay, by the way. Everyone continues to ask me those questions. You can actually buy Burago cars on, like, every single website. I think they're on AliExpress. They're probably on Wish. They're on Timu. Like, you can buy these things freaking everywhere. Uh, so... Uh, if you can't find these, you are not looking. <laughs> I think the rear wing, honestly, I mean, look at how high quality the printing is on here. I mean, that is, like, perfect. That is small text. And it's like pixel perfect. I feel like I have never seen anything like that. Here's compared to last year's rear wing. Yeah, I mean, it's just really good. And I love the painted rear wings. When they're black, they usually don't look too good. Uh, this is two in a row that the rear wings have looked fantastic. Let's look on the inside, though, because... Um, yep, still shit, still sticker, whatever. Yeah, you kind of got to come to expect. I mean, there's a sticker on here. It looks obviously like a sticker. That's one thing. If Barago ever releases a car that the inside of the rear wing doesn't look like a sticker like that, I mean, I'll I'll delete my whole channel. Like, I'll never, I'll never, I'll never make any more videos. Honestly, I'm gonna say this is probably the best Barago that I've seen so far, ever. <laughs> Uh, it's got all the things I really like. I think the silver uh, Baragos are always my favorite, all the way back to the Mercedes, the 2019 Mercedes. It's got a little bit of that. Uh, it's got a matte finish. Talked about a matte finish ever since the 2020 Ferraris. Those are the best looking ones. Brago cars that are glossy just never look as good. At least they never did. Uh, the Alpine's got something to say about that, but matte finish is still their A game. And yeah. This is just probably the best one. I'm just gonna say that. I just opened it 10 minutes ago, so it's it's really recency bias. Um, but yeah, I think this one looks fantastic. Speaking of recency bias, let's talk Oscar Piastri. So I said I would bring this back up. Who do I think's had the best rookie season? I feel like it's Oscar Piastri of those three. Now. It should be mentioned, you know, Max Verstappen drove for Toro Rosso, which was not a good car. 
and he had some pretty good finishes. I think he finished fourth twice in 2015. Driving for Toro Rosso, definitely impressive performance. He also beat his teammate. Oscar Piastri did not beat his teammate in points, and also, for most of the season, was driving the second best car. This is the second best car of the season for most of the year. It was the freaking worst for a while, but after a while, it was the second best car, no doubt. So Oscar, I won't say he had it easy, but he had a lot better of a machine than Max Verstappen did in his rookie season. But I'm still going to say Oscar Piastri is the best one, despite Max Verstappen outclassing his machinery in his rookie season. I'm going to say Oscar Piastri uh, because I think Oscar drove a very mature first season. Max Verstappen was a hothead in his first season, his first few seasons. He was a bit of an ass. Oscar Piastri jo drove. Oscar Piastri drove some mature races. He had some difficult moments, but there's nothing I can really remember. Oh, I didn't even notice the grill detail right here. That's awesome. He didn't really have any moments that made me sort of just facepalm and be like, oh, this guy sucks. He had a crash at some point. I mean, he crashed. I don't remember. There was a crash in practice, I think, at one point, but I don't even remember where it was. I, I can't really remember any embarrassing Oscar Piastri moments from his first from his first season. While I can remember some from Max Verstappen's first season, like Monaco in 2015. That was the first F1 race I ever watched. I saw that crash. So I'm not saying Oscar Piastri is gonna grow up to be the next biggest driver ever. I mean, certainly right now, Max Verstappen is way better than Oscar Piastri. Max Verstappen's way better than fucking everybody. But for rookie seasons, I'm gonna go with Oscar Piastri. Uh, of course, the best rookie season of all time was probably Lewis Hamilton in 2007. He was competing for the championship, although he did lose it in an extremely hilarious and cons conspiratory way. I don't know if that's a word. Again, a lot of conspiracies about that. Anyway, though, enough about the modern F1 chat. Uh, that's going to do it for this video. We've got probably two of the best Baragos ever right in front of us. Although the T-cam is black on this car, I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be yellow. So some things, the more things change, the more things stay the same. But um, yeah, really, really good cars. Definitely recommend you get this McLaren in some form, whether it's Lando Norris or Oscar Piastri. I think 81 is a weird number to have. Uh, a lot of the higher numbers, I think, are just weird for some reason. I think most of the drivers pick lower numbers. So when you get a really high number, it's like, whoa, what the hell? Unless it's like a double digit, like 77. Uh, I think 81, 81 is weird to me. I don't know why. Anyway, done wasting time. That's going to do it for this video. What do you guys think of this car? Let me know. And as always, have a wonderful day, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.